Aloha, welcome to Kencho Quest. In this video, we're going to show you our beach bag essentials to pack for your next family vacation to Hawaii. We're very fortunate to live on the beautiful island of Oahu, Hawaii. Let's take a look at what we pack for a day at the beach with our kids. One, two, three, aloha. aloha. We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. Let's First of all, you're gonna want a beach bag. I have all of our beach essentials packed in this Logan and Lenora Weekender. It's quite a big bag, but we do have three kids. Logan and Lenora makes all of their bags in Colorado, USA. They're super high quality. This may look new, but we've actually been traveling the world with this bag. I really love it because I can use the Weekender as a carry-on bag on the airplane. And then when we get to our destination, I can use it as a beach bag because it has waterproof pockets inside. The first item that I had packed in my beach bag is this beautiful beach towel by Tessellate. Thank you so much to Tessellate for sending it to us so we could try it out. We love that it fits our whole family. It packs up super thin and their special type of fabric is supposed to work to just be able to shake the sand right off. So let's look what's inside the beach bag. On the back here, I love that this bag has three pockets. One of them can be unzipped to use as a trolley sleeve on your luggage or you can zip it shut and then use it as a pocket. So I have my daughter's water bottle, my son's water bottle, we're a hydro flask family, and my insulated water bottle. We love using insulated water bottles with beach to keep our drinks cold all day long. All right, out here there's an outside pocket that's waterproof. I have in here my rash guard and my husband's rash guard. This is one way that our family uses a lot less sunscreen is by wearing rash guards. So we're mostly covered up and protected from the sun. Our kids already have their swimsuits and rash guards on. They're ready to go to the beach. Also in this pocket, I keep any of the things that might get wet, like after they've swam, I'll put their wet swimsuits into here. I also have their goggles. This is the first thing my son always asks me for at the beach is, mom, can I have my goggles? Got those ready to go. When they're wet, they'll go right back in to this waterproof pocket here. Now inside the main pocket, right on top here, I have a snorkel mask for my son who's seven years old. I let each kid bring just one kind of toy or accessory to the beach. So he gets to bring his snorkel. My daughter brings her green toys recycled little bucket to the beach. I don't like her to have a whole lot of separate beach toys because inevitably some of them will get lost and a lot of beach toys end up as plastic waste in the ocean. So we just bring her one bucket and shovel and it's easy to remember to take them home with us. Up next is another necessity for sun protection. We each have a wide brimmed sun hat. Since we spend a lot of time outdoors in the bright sun, we like to get as much of our sun protection as possible as we can from clothing and hats. Next inside here, I have this wet dry bag. This one's by Thirsties. And I really love wet dry bags for the beach because they have a waterproof pocket for wet items. Out here in the dry pocket, I have two of these Peshtimal Turkish towels. These are really thin. These ones are made of cotton and we use these just for drying off after the kids go swimming. These are also thin, lightweight and pack up well. So I like to have one big beach towel or beach blanket to sit on and then a couple towels for drying off. Once those are wet, if I want to, I can move them into the waterproof pocket here. I definitely recommend having a wet bag if you don't have a beach bag like ours that has the wet bag material built in. Up next, a super important item, especially if you have kids, is an insulated cooler bag full of snacks. This one is a linen cooler bag by So Young. And I've just packed up some of our kids' favorite snacks. Like we have some of these little cutie oranges in there that they like some nuts as well. We did just have a little picnic lunch as soon as we got to the beach, but it's always good to have snacks too. The final item in this big main pocket of the bag is our natural travel first aid kit that I put together. I do have a separate video showing exactly what's inside this. I can link it in the cards and in the description box below the video. Now, just like on the front of the bag, there's a zipper pocket. There's one more zipper pocket on the inside of this bag. 
I do have an extra outfit in here for each of my kids. So after we swim, they change out of their swimsuits, shower off, they'll change into their dry clothes. A couple items for my husband and I as well. Then I have our natural zero waste sunscreen kit. This is packed into a reusable planet wise sandwich bag. Here in Hawaii, it's been banned to sell certain sunscreens that contain chemicals that bleach the coral reefs. So we'll be telling you more about that later, but I do have some reef safe sunscreen in here. Let's take a closer look. If you can find a reef safe mineral based sunscreen to pack for your next Hawaiian vacation, that's a great way to protect the beauty of the islands. Or if you can't find one at home, you can buy one of the local brands once you arrive. One option is Raw Love. This is made on the island of Maui, but we purchased this here on Oahu. And this one I like for bigger areas of skin, like putting on my arms. And we have this smaller one by Little Hands. I especially like the stick type one for applying to our faces. So as soon as we get to the beach, we change into our wide brim sun hats and apply some face sunscreen. It's packaged into a little biodegradable cardboard tube. We also have Surfer Salve by the local company Island Soap and Candle Works. This is good for bug bites or minor scrape or sunburn. My daughter just needed this because unfortunately she got some ant bites. We also have Badger Balm Anti-Bug Balm and this is to keep the bugs away. We don't use it so much on the beach but more when we go on hikes it's good to have some mosquito repellent and this is a natural option. I also have a little zero waste lip balm by Honey Bees. These are made on the island of Oahu and you can buy them on Etsy. I will link all these products in the description box below. I actually need some lip balm right now. Mmm, smells like chai tea. The last item are some extra hair ties in case the kids or myself need those. Next, you may want to watch my video showing how I packed the Logan and Lenora Weekender as a carry-on bag for flying with a toddler and kid. As we prepare for our next travels, we'll also be sharing tips for traveling with a baby. Please subscribe for more travel tips and inspiration. Aloha!